she wanted to do was help her great-grandson. She thought she was in legal trouble. She thought he was in legal trouble as well and needed the money, so she thought she was being helpful. But it turns out it was just scammers taking advantage of her, weaving quite the complicated tale. It's pretty awful. A 95-year-old grandmother sharing her story, hoping that others don't become a victim as well. Fox 13's Ariel Placencia has the story from Pasco County. He was in jail. Rosemary Potter got a concerning phone call on Friday. I said, are you hurt? And he said, well, I had a few stitches. It was her great-grandson. At least, that's who the 95-year-old thought she was talking to. He'd gotten a DUI and said his lawyer was going to reach out. But he called me right away, and he said that it took 7200 to to get him out of jail. $7,200. But the Newport Ritchie resident says she just wanted to help. I was so upset at that time because I went straight to the bank. When the teller questioned the large amount, Rosemary responded with the prepared excuse the caller had given her. She said, what are you using all this money for? And I said, well, I have work to be done on the house and, and he wants cash. After getting the money, Rosemary did as she was told. She put it in an envelope in a shoebox and wrote her great-grandson's case number on it. He said there would be a guy here. That's when a man showed up to her house to pick it up. All she could think about, Rosemary says, was her family member in need. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about anything but him. But on Monday, the callers reached out again, saying they needed more money. So Rosemary went back to the bank to pull out $5,000 more. This time, the bank teller didn't buy her excuse and called police. I was concerned about my grandma. Grandson Jason Anderson drove from his Indiana home to Florida when he heard what happened. Her address, right? They came to her house. We're still waiting for the Pasco County Sheriff's Office to answer our questions about the case. But Jason said detectives told him this scam could have originated overseas and that the man who showed up to Rosemary's house was possibly a delivery driver who picked up the money and dropped it off at a separate location. They feed on people's emotions as they're doing this. It's very unfortunate. Be smarter than I was. In Newport Ritchie, Ariel Placencia, Fox 13 News.